Okay, we're going to do a couple short videos on how students can get set up and using the Azure Web Service from Microsoft uh, for free uh, for their work here at Niagara College. So you will need two things. You will need your Niagara College student email account and you need a Microsoft account. Now when I say that, that could mean an old Hotmail account you still have, a Windows Live ID if you're familiar with that term one of the new Outlook.com accounts. So they're basically all one form or another of a Microsoft account. So you'll have to have one of those. You can even register your student email address as a new Microsoft account if you want. Just be careful though, you're always going to be clarifying as to whether it's the school one or your personal one from then on. Okay, once you do that though, or once you have those two things ready, uh, then I suggest you come here to dreamspark.com. Right, just HTTP, www, whatever. But anyway, dreamspark.com. This is a program from Microsoft for students and all students. I emphasize all students at the college are entitled to a DreamSpark account. Now, you may have heard some students in certain programs have a premium DreamSpark account because the college has paid extra money for certain programs where the students require some more advanced features, some more advanced software downloads and so on, operating systems and things like that for specific computer studies. But all students get a basic DreamSpark account and now uh, that also includes Microsoft Azure. Uh, again, there are more premium ones available, but the basic Azure account is what most students need because the desire is usually to set up websites and web services, and that is all included now, even including SQL Server, right? as well as MySQL, so we have databases and so on and so forth. So what we want to do here is, of course, get into Azure. So I'm going to click this link. The cloud is ready for you. Get Azure now. Now I have to confess I've already gone through and I've created the DreamSpark account. What that process looks like is if you need to create an account, uh, first of all, you need to have a Microsoft account. So you can log into that and what happens then is it goes through and there's a form to fill out and uh, you will get a verification email back into your uh, college account that will look like this, that you verified, you're confirming your academic status and you basically click the link or copy and paste the link and away you go and that will confirm that you are an actual student and you'll get a welcome and so on and so forth after that. So I don't think I need to step you through that process. It's pretty obvious on the screen. You just fill in the information. Uh, what happens is uh, once you log in with your uh, Microsoft account, it will actually take the basic information, fill out the little form you just supply your college email address, and then that is one of the many ways you can verify your student status, and by far the easiest. Once you enter that, you just get that link, and you follow the instructions in the link, and you verify your account. So I'm just going to sign in with the account then that I have available here. By the way, thank you to the guys in IT for setting up this demo account that I could use just for this demonstration. By the way, it has already been deleted, so don't try and use it. <laughs> okay. So you notice it says it's a verified account. That's because I did go through the verification process. Really, it's just a matter of clicking the link uh, in the email and away you go. All right, so the next thing is to register, okay? Now here's where I had to start this demo over because it refused to not want to use my existing Azure account. So I had to do a whole bunch of work to get that cleared out. So now we're signing up for the first time in Microsoft Azure using our new DreamSpark account. Okay, so it fills in the information from the account that we've set up. Now you notice I've actually used this one as the live ID. Uh, this is not what you would use, see up here if you were actually uh, just using an existing live ID or Microsoft account. Yeah, that is the account that would show here at the moment. You've just verified that that account uh, belongs to a student by using your student email. You don't have to, they don't have to be the same, right? But here we go, just uh, basic information about us. Everything here is required. Oh, I guess the school is optional, but the work phone for some reason is not. So I'm just going to put the uh, college phone number in here. Okay. Yeah, I might as well put Niagara College Canada. Why not? Oh, and we are in Canada. So I'll just enter that as well. Takes a moment to update. Okay. Now the next thing is the 
it wants you to set up verification by phone. This is a great idea. They seem to want to force it anyway, but these days you probably have a uh, cell phone where you can receive text messages. If not, you can actually have them phone you on your phone, and they will. They'll do that. Uh, I'm just going to pause the recording while I fill this out because I don't really want to share my personal cell phone number with everybody. So I'm just going to fill this out. It'll have them send me a text message, and I'll enter it back in. Okay, so my verification by phone is complete. I'm going to agree to this and that. Uh, I don't sure why not. And we'll sign up. Okay, now this can take a minute or two, so I'm just going to uh, pause it. Oh, there we are. Uh, it's just letting us know. It typically takes up to four minutes, and they'll send an email when done. So you can have a look at stuff while this is happening in the background and learn a little bit about it, but I'm not going to record their recording. You can just watch their recording because that's better than seeing my recording of their recording anyway. Okay, well, it looks like it's finished uh, setting things up. So now the website simply says, start managing my service because the subscription is ready for you. So I think we'll leave this video off here. I'll just click the button, see what comes up. Yep, so we can log in with uh, different accounts. Of course, I got a few different ones. So I'll log in with the uh, Live ID account. Sorry for the confusion because they're both the same here in my example. Uh, oh, I guess for some reason it's not quite ready, but you see the point. We'll do the next part in the next video.